I want to talk a little bit about respiratory protection. First off, this here that we normally call a dust mask is actually a filtering face piece respirator. This is a half face, elastomeric style respirator. Both of these are air purifying respirator, meaning that you're drawing the air through a filtering medium. On the dust mask, the face piece is the filtering medium. These are only good for airborne particulates. On the half face respirator, we have a cartridge. This is a combination cartridge. It's good for organic vapors, there's a list of other things, as well as airborne particulates, such as wood dust. And because it has an organic vapor cartridge in here as well, it's also good for finishes, paint, sealing, things like that. Here's a close up of that cartridge. It protects against organic vapors, sulfur dioxide, hydrogen chloride, chlorine gas, hydrogen fluoride, hydrogen sulfide, and non-oil and oil particulate matter. The most important thing is to inspect your respirator. Okay, before I use this, I do a quick check. I'm looking at the face piece itself, making sure there's no rips or tears. There's actually valves inside of these that you can check to make sure that they're not ripped or torn. Here's a close-up of one of the inhalation valves. This front piece comes off and I can check the escalation valve to make sure that that is not ripped or torn. Each of those valve pieces are in fact replaceable. So you can go on 3M's website and you can buy a pack of replacement valves. I like that this one comes fully apart because I can wash the face mask on its own. If I take the cartridges off, we don't wanna wash these, but I can wash this with soap and water. And it is a good idea after ever use to clean these. You can just wipe them down with an alcohol pad because the inside can get pretty gross. You can wipe this down, soap, water if you wanted to, just a wet, damp towel, replace this, snap back in. Now, once I put this on and I'm ready to go, it's important that you make sure and check to see if you have a good seal between your face and the respirator. Let's do that now. Okay. The first thing you want to do is cover the inhalation valves at the cartridges and take a deep breath in. You should feel the mask collapse. <laughs> then cover the escalation valve and breathe out. The mask should bulge, but you should not break the seal. It's important that when you're taking off your mask, you take off the top head strap first and then pull away from your face. So that way, if it is covered with a bunch of wood chips, let's say, hopefully not full chips, but wood dust, it's not gonna fall back into your eyes as you take it off. All right, well, I hope you learned something today about air purifying respirators, and I hope you're wearing some type of respiratory protection in your shop, whether you're cutting wood, Sanding, it's always a good idea to have a little extra protection.